Once there was a little red hen. She was a very happy hen who liked to bake tasty things to eat. Sometimes she would bake biscuits and sometimes she would bake jam tart. Yum! I wonder what she's going to bake today. Hmm, what shall I bake today? I know, I'll bake a nice big sponge cake. Mmm, yummy, my favourite. So the little red hen looked in her cupboards for the ingredients to make a sponge cake. But there was no flour, no butter, no sugar and no eggs. Her cupboards were bare. Oh dear, I shall have to do some shopping. So the little red hen got her shopping basket and went to find her friends to see if they would help her. Hello, Hedgehog. Hello, Rabbit. Hello, little red hen. I'm going to buy the things I need to bake a cake. Will you help me? Mm, not I, said the Hedgehog. Mm, not I, said the Rabbit. All right, then. I shall have to go on my own. So the little red hen set off. It was a long way to the shops, and by the time she bought the ingredients for the cake, she was very tired. What a long day at the shops. I'm tired. I wonder if my friends will help me bake the cake. So the little red hen went out into the farmyard. Hello, Hedgehog. Hello, Rabbit. Hello, little red hen. I've got all the ingredients I need to make the cake. Will you help me bake it? Mm, not I, said the Hedgehog. Mm, not I, said the Rabbit. All right, then. I shall have to make it myself. And so the little red hen went back to the kitchen to make a cake. She sifted the flour, she cracked the eggs, and then she mixed and mixed and mixed. She tried to lift the mixing bowl to pour out the cake mix, but it was too heavy. Oh dear, I'm afraid I will spill it. I shall have to ask my friends to help me. So the little red hen went out into the farmyard to find her friends. Hello, Hedgehog. Hello, Rabbit. Hello, little red hen. I've mixed all the ingredients for the cake, but the bowl is too heavy. Will you help me? Mm, not I, said the Hedgehog. Mm, not I, said the Rabbit. Oh, all right then. I'll have to do it on my own. And so the little red hen went back to the kitchen on her own. And she poured the cake mix into the tin very slowly and very carefully. And then she put the mixture into the oven and waited for the cake to bake. Meanwhile, in the farmyard, the smell of the baking cake was drifting past the noses of the hedgehog and the rabbits. Mmm, something smells delicious, said the hedgehog. Mm, yes, something smells lovely, said the rabbit. Ooh. And they both got up and headed towards Little Red Hen's kitchen. Back in the kitchen, Little Red Hen was busy putting away her mixing bowl and spoons. <laughs> there, that's all the tidying up done. Now the cake must be ready by now. Oh, wonderful! The cake is done! As Little Red Hen took the cake out of the oven, the smell was too much for the hedgehog and the rabbit. Oh, um, Little Red Hen, your cake smells delicious. Mm. Thank you, Hedgehog. Thank you, Rabbit. But it's a very big sponge cake. I don't think I can eat it all on my own. Will you help me? Oh, I will, said the Hedgehog. I will, said the Rabbit. Oh, all right then. And then the Little Red Hen cut a small slice of cake and put it onto a plate. And then she cut 
the slice into half and gave one piece to the hedgehog and one piece to the rabbit. The hedgehog and the rabbit looked at their tiny pieces of cake. But this piece is so small. And, and mine is even smaller. I've given you each a tiny piece of cake because you are my friends. But neither of you wanted to help me shop for the cake ingredients or help me make the cake or even put the mixture into the cake tin. Oh, well, we will next time. Uh, we promise. Well, if you help me next time, you can have a bigger piece. And with that, the little red hen took herself a huge piece of cake and sat down in her favourite chair to eat it. <sighs>